third. And I'm Sock. Today we're talking about being united. Raise your hand if you love your family and friends. Keep your hand up if you always agree with your family and friends. Even when we love someone, that doesn't always mean we agree with everything they think. When have you had a disagreement with someone you love? What happened? You might love your siblings, cousins, family, and so on. But people and families can also disagree and even argue sometimes. The church is like a family in this way. But in the end, we are called to love each other. Today, we're going to learn about a church that had members who disagreed sometimes. The Apostle Paul writes to them a letter telling them to be united because we are all members of God's family. United means connected. It means we are working together towards the same goal. When followers of Jesus were starting the church, they did not always agree on everything. Sometimes they argued. The church in the city of Corinth was known to have many disagreements among the members. Paul wrote them this letter to help them learn to get along with each other. Who is the best? From the World Story Bible by Spark House. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 10 through 18. Paul heaved a huge sigh. The Christians in Corinth were fighting again. Paul gripped his stylus tightly. He started another letter to the Corinthians. Dear brothers and sisters, I hear that you can't stop arguing. You should be working together. All this arguing is keeping you apart. Some of you say, Apollos baptized me. My baptism is better. Others say, Cephas baptized me. My baptism is better. Stop that. You are all part of Jesus' family. When you were baptized, you became a child of God. You are all children of God. When you argue, you are arguing with God's family, your family. Paul paced around his room. He scratched his head. He squeezed his eyes closed. Writing was hard work. Then God gave him an idea. Paul sat and scribbled. When you want to argue, think about the cross. The cross seems sad and scary, but God's children know the cross shows love. The cross reminds us that Jesus died and was raised to life again. God did this. God brings the dead to life because God loves us. Doesn't matter who baptized you, being baptized into Jesus' family is what matters. There's no time for arguing. You have God's work to celebrate. Baptism. Being part of God's family. The cross. Paul reminded the members of the church in Corinth that followers of Jesus are united in God's love. Hey, I know a song about people coming together to be united in God's church. It's called Praise of Th and Thanksgiving.
gave advice to the church in Corinth to help them learn to stop fighting. He said to remember the cross and baptism. What do you remember about the cross and baptism? Even when we disagree, we are called to live together in love. We are a part of God's family. Let's pray together. Holy God, when we find it hard not to fight, help us to be united in love, united in Jesus Christ, and united in your church. Amen. Thanks for joining us, friends. We'll see you next time. Bye!